Hey everyone, Surfer Boy here. Today I'm bringing you a guide on how to solo the Black Spindle mission, Lost to Light. I'll be using the Stormcaller class for this run due to the massive area effect damage it's able to dish out. If you don't have a Warlock, focus on the AoE build of your respective class. Hunters, I'd imagine you'd want to use Shadow Shot with Bloodbound to split the damage among the adds. Titans, you'll no doubt want to use Sunbreaker. I've got my Stormcaller set up to use Transcendence for the extra super duration and heal on cast effect, Superconductor to allow my Lightning to chain further, and the Electrostatic Mind for the passive AoE effect. While I do like Perpetual Charge, its usefulness in this run is limited as it requires a kill for the perk to proc. Arc Web is useful if you manage to have a grenade up every so often, but I feel it loses out to Electrostatic Mind. I'd recommend using the King's Fall Raid weapons for this run as they deal bonus damage to taken enemies. Use a Scout or Pulse Rifle for the primary and a Shotgun for the special as you'll mainly be fighting in close quarters. But the weapon that brings this whole build together is the Raised Lighter Exotic Sword. Its heavy attack is a devastating uppercut that can one hit wizards and deals incredible damage to Drivix. If you do not have this sword, go and get it now. This run is definitely possible without it, but it will be much more difficult. The game plan for the solo run is to keep moving. Repositioning yourself is the best option for combating enemy focus fire. Obviously keeping the death to a minimum is a good idea. I die twice due to stupid mistakes that were completely avoidable. Two deaths means I miss out on 30 seconds of progression. This is time you just cannot waste. Try to move around the perimeter of the rooms as this will help ensure survival. When you enter any of the rooms, always focus on the blights first. Leaving them unattended will only make it more difficult. Once the blights are down, focus on the most dangerous enemies first, starting with the acts closest to you, then moving to high priority targets like knights, centurions and wizards. For the first room, use your super to clear the majority adds. Don't fret too much about using your super frequently. The amount of enemies you'll be killing will mean your super will almost always be recharged. I managed to clear the room in a minute and 15 odd seconds. If you can do it in 60 seconds, you're doing really well. In the tank room, stay at the entrance and take out the two blights on the right, then move to the left and take down the final blight at the back of the room. Depending how long it takes you to kill the first two blights, this final one is likely to spawn more adds. From here you can either do what I do and take down the wizard, or double back to the other side. The kill order for this room is blights, wizards, snipers, with general ad clear in between.
Once the room is clear, head through the hallway to the boss room making sure to kill the two phalanxes, the captain and then the two knights. And now the boss room. This will likely come down to the wire. If you're entering the room at the same time I am, you may see a similar endpoint. When you enter the room, there will be a blight to your left and a blight on the right hand side. It's important to focus the blights as soon as they spawn, then when they're down, switch your attention to the adds. Use your super, followed by grenades and melee if you're a warlock. Hunters and titans can likely do it the other way around. Once all, or most of the adds are dead, turn your attention to Drivix. Jump up to his platform and use Ray's Lighter's heavy attack to chunk his health down. When you're out of ammo, retreat to the entrance and repeat. Blights, then add quick. If you had close to full sword ammo, Jivix should be down to roughly 50% health. This will proc the next wave of taking which includes a blight up the back right, a blight mid right, one at the back shelf and one at mid left. Once the room is clear of Taken, use this moment of silence to either collect some heavy ammo or pop a synth. When you're good to go, jump back up to Drivix and kill him.
Now it's clean up time. Use everything you've got, but do not rush or panic. Ensure that the scions are dead. They become a real problem if they keep splitting. A blight will spawn at the window near the entrance and one at the back rack. And there we have it, you have just soloed one of the most difficult missions in Destiny and scored yourself a sweet black spindle, and if you're really lucky, the ship too. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see some more, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome.